So last night, I got to watch two movies from director Steven Spielberg. <clears throat> and out of those two, one of them I saw was E.T. the Extra... Yep, E.T. the Extra Terrestrial, released in 1982. I got to watch this movie on VHS with, like, this copy. Because I don't have it on DVD or Blu-ray. So I got to watch this the old school way, or the skips way. <clears throat> now, um, the... I saw snippets of this movie back in 2017 when it was on Netflix in middle school. And now, as a much more experienced person who... Or, or as, a, as, as a person who has so much experience in film and, like, how director styles go, I really, really had a lot of fun with this movie. First thing I want to mention are the performances. The... This movie is loaded with, with tons of great acting. From Henry Thomas as Elliot, Robert McNaughton as Michael, <clears throat> and this film was also the feature film debut of actor of actress Drew Barrymore. And she also does a great job too. And she has some funny moments, like when she's um helping E. T. with like E. T. phone home and when she's like um teaching E.T. how to talk. Now, the one scene with, um, <clears throat> Elliot and E.T., like, when they're all lying on beds and they have these things strapped to them and E.T. is about to die, Henry Thomas's acting just goes through the roof, like, oh my goodness. Like, y young actors can bring out so much talent and, like, they're phenomenal. I saw this in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now I get to see it again in E.T. Young actors are amazing. Like, they're just... They're just so talented. Now, something else plays a big part in this movie. John Williams' score. It is phenomenal. It's one of the best scores I've ever heard from the man. Like, like just listen. Like, I just... Once you get done with this... Like, if you haven't listened to the score, I want you to listen to the piece of music that played during the end credits. It just, it, like, the way the music is presented, it's filled with imagination and makes you just want to be a kid again. And we also get some great moments, too, like the bike chase, um, where they're escaping the police. And, well, moments like that. Sometimes I'm just thinking... Why can't we get movies like this nowadays? Movies that just make us want to be young again. Movies that are just creative. That's something that I feel like is missing in Hollywood today. Now, um, I, the, now the reason I watched this and the other movie I'll review from Steven Spielberg is because we were supposed to um, learn about style. Like, how do the... How is their directing? Like, what's their style? Like, how do they, like, move their camera in a way? <clears throat> Here's what I was able to analyze in E.T. So, in the beginning, and throughout some parts later in the movie, we see the, we see this, like, person, and they have these, like, the keys, like, around his pocket. I, I, I knew, like, whenever he, whenever there's a shot of, like, keys and stuff, you can tell it's going to play a big part later on in the movie. <clears throat> and also the lighting, like, um, both this one and the other one, and the other movie, they both, like, have some great lighting with, um, it's these things, these, like, um, um, curtains, or, no, not, not really curtains, but, um, it's hard to describe, but there are, like, if you watch E.T., like, they're on the closet doors, and you'll see, like, light, um, from their faces and stuff. The lighting is phenomenal. It, it is. And the whole quality of the movie is. I just love E.T. This is one I would definitely want to watch again. No doubt about that. 